As if you needed a reminder you were being taken to the cleaners by PlayStation. Here we go again. Now they're just out and out admitting they're stealing your money. This comes to us from Bounding into Comics and Spencer Bakuli over there. Feel free to leave a comment on the article. The link will be in the description below. In further making the case for physical media, Sony announces PlayStation users will soon lose access to legally purchased Discovery Channel content. That's right. That's the reality we're in right now. Remember this? They told you you were crazy. Do you remember that? They told you you were crazy. That they'd never take away the media you paid for. That's impossible. That would be illegal to do that to you. That you paid for that. Paid for access for that. You downloaded that off the PlayStation Store. You own that, right? No, you don't. No, you don't. In the latest reminder that the concept of digital purchases is, at its core, anti-consumer, Sony has announced that thanks to a licensing hiccup, PlayStation users who use the system's signature store to acquire various Discovery Channel series will soon lose wholesale access to their personally owned content. That's right, this isn't rent. This is buy. This is that big red buy button you clicked over there, the yellow, whichever, whichever theme you're using. That's that big buy button you pushed. When you buy something, that means you own it, right? When you rent something, that means someone else owns it and it has to go back eventually, right? It's interesting, isn't it? Language is important. Language is important. It's funny like that, right? Announcing this move in a December 2nd legal notice, Sony informed its customers that as of December 31st, 2023, due to our content licensing agreements with content providers, you will no longer be able to watch any of your previously purchased Discovery content, and the content will be removed, removed, removed from your video library. That's right. They're just, they're just going to, like, delete that stuff from your library. You downloaded that stuff. You waited for all the however long it took to download into your personal hard drive library. Nope. Gone. That should spook you, by the way. They, 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 when you download something, they could just remove that still. They just reach right into your hard drive and, boop, that's not there anymore. That's spooky. Per a list provided by Sony, over 1,000 titles will be affected as part of this change, including such series as American Chopper, Mythbusters, My Strange Addiction, and Through the Wormhole with Morgan Freeman. Remember this? This is a pretty lady. I remember when she was pretty. Do you remember when she was pretty? It was a long time ago now. As of writing, neither Sony nor Discovery have offered any public clarification as to which exact aspect of their content licensing agreement resulted in this development, though it more than likely has something to do with the network's recent merger with Warner Brothers. Further, it notably appears Sony will not be offering any refunds for any content affected by this change in doing so effectively leaving customers in the wind regarding their legally purchased media. Yes, that's right. See, this is Morgan Freeman. This is why we can't have nice things. I get it, Morgan Freeman. This is why we can't have nice things. They delete nice things because they lose their licensing agreement. As noted above, this development is but the latest in an ever-growing tide of anti-consumer practices coming out of not just Hollywood, but the worldwide entertainment industry as a whole. Now, if you want to hear more about this, you can feel free to click the link down in the description. Spencer goes into a long, really well-documented path that's brought us to this point, especially people coming out and telling you that you're crazy because you saw this coming. Do you remember when Christopher Nolan made this pledge that he wouldn't allow his stuff to be taken away from you? That you would have, you would have physical media to hold on to of his stuff? You could stream it still, certainly. He'd want you to because that you know, gets him royalties. But more importantly, he wanted to give you physical media of his stuff. So for whatever reason, if they decided to cancel him, like so many people seem to be getting canceled lately, if they decide to cancel him, they can't delete him out of your library like they've done with PlayStation now, the discovery content on PlayStation. 
They're stealing your money and they're telling you right to your face. I don't know, man. I'd be canceling my PlayStation subscription, man. I, I don't know. Whatever. Are the cutscenes really that important? 